don't want to work out today. I felt like this for a long time. I haven't worked out in fact in I actually don't know the last time I worked out. I really don't want to but I know it makes me feel better. I know I should do it and summer's coming. Hot girl summer is coming. Things are opening. I should do it. I should work out. I know. I know it's the right thing to do, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna try. Oh, got my water bottle. I had a productive morning. I made a thumbnail. I uploaded a vlog. I did some work stuff, and now it's like about 1 p.m. 2 p.m. Okay, we're gonna start slow. We're gonna start slow. No running. No high, crazy intensity shit. We're gonna walk on the treadmill on a really high incline. I don't know what that thing is called that all the girls are doing. You just walk on the treadmill for like 30 minutes. It's like a number. I don't. Let me know in the comments. You guys know. But we're gonna do that and maybe some abs. We're trying to get back into working out. Also, my face is so pale. It's it's crust city up in here. Don't mind that. Let's go to the garage. I think there's like a blanket on my treadmill right now because I never use it and I just use it to dry clothes. Sounds like there's a gardener out here. I have my garage door open and everyone can see me working out, which I also do not like. Turn on the music. Hopefully she's gonna work. Oh, she's loud. Holy shit. Oh, what did I say? Blanket. Take her off. Bam! She's still here. Okay, what should we listen to? I'm thinking some Doja Cat, some Cardi B. Where's my phone? Okay, BRB, setting up the music. My treadmill is literally dusty. I thought Paige uses this. <laughs> it's so dusty. Oh no. Oh no. I don't even know if it's gonna start. Is she broken? Please don't be broken. We're gonna reset her. She's alive! Yes! Okay, so the workout that I'm gonna do, I always do manual, first of all. It's called 12 330. That's what I was thinking about. So basically you just put it at a you put it at a 12 incline. Mine goes up to 40. So 12% incline. So I'm gonna put 10 and then I'm gonna just go like this until it gets to 12. 12 incline. We do this for 30 minutes. And I think it should end up being, I don't know what the three is, but anyway, 12% incline for three, 30 minutes. That's all you need to know. Let's go. Oh, I guess this, the speed is three. The speed is three, huh? Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm pressing things. No, 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 no. Okay, one sec, I need to get this situated. But 12% incline for 30 minutes at speed three. First of all, my camera stopped recording like 10 minutes in, but I finished the 30 minutes. I'm actually dead. I had to stop halfway through and take a, like a one minute break. And I was also like touching the handlebars a few times, but for my first time working out in like months, I would say not too shabby. So I'm going to do some ab workouts now, just like five minutes or whatever. I've been watching some YouTube videos. Actually, it really helps to watch a couple YouTube videos like vlogs. I watched Tara's vlogs, Gabby the whole time and it made it go by faster. So I recommend doing that. Yeah, I'm gonna continue watching some and do some abs, so let's go. All right, so I just showered, I'm clean, my hair's wet. I look like a tomato because I just rubbed my face and did skincare. My skin's sensitive, but I am trying to rush because I am going to a nail appointment and to dinner. And I really don't think I have time to do makeup and hair. I think hair is more important since it's wet. So I thought I would show you guys me using the Dyson Airwrap. I have it right here. I finally found one on the internet, on the Dyson website and it was so hard to find. I literally have wanted it for months, but I did use it once already. So this isn't like trying it for the first time, but I wanted to use it once before I showed you guys on camera so that I can like kind of give tips and like what's the best way to do it so that it's helpful, you know? This is her. I don't even know if it's all in here right now because I took it out already, but this is what it looks like. Oh, it is all in here. This is the main part. This is the main part. And then we have all the attachments. So they have the blow dryer. 
So I used the blow dryer and I don't like it. Honestly, I have the yellow like dry bar blow dryer and it's really, really strong and quick. And I just feel like this is just not as fast. So I probably won't be using that too much, but if you have like not a lot of hair, it is pretty good. Then we have all like the curlers and it comes with like a skinny one and a fatter one. And I've only used the fatter one so far because my hair's so long. So I don't know how this would look on my hair, but maybe I'll try it one day. And then we have this brush thing, which my boyfriend actually really likes and he uses it to like do his hair and he's obsessed with it. And then we have another one. I don't even know what this is, I've taken it out. Oh, another brush. I don't know really the difference. And then we have a round brush. Um, but basically all I use is these two and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So I'm gonna bring it to the bathroom. All right, this is a good setup. This is honestly worth that five minutes it took to put this ring light here. So, first things first, I use this as my blow dryer and I kind of just... That did not make sense. <laughs> dry, I blow dry it until it's like 98% dry, like pretty much dry. And then I go in with the air wrap, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. Okay, so she's pretty much dry. It's like a little damp back here, but I'm gonna start the air wrap. Oh, and also I used Olaplex, the oil, and number six, kind of together, like while my hair was damp. Basically, I do this side of my head first. So you're gonna take the one where the arrows are pointing away from your face and just pop it in, really easy. I have it on the highest heat setting, the highest blow setting, and then you just turn it on. And they have like a cooling thing, which I don't really know how to use. I feel like it just takes too long. I don't know. I don't really... You're supposed to set it right when you're done the curl with the cool air, but I don't really do that. So we're going to plug her in. That's what it sounds like when you turn it on. Just going to brush out your hair, divide it. In two. And I just start with like a little piece at the back, about this thick. And I like more of like a blowout look than like tight curls. So the thicker one's good for that. And I don't know, this is what I do. It was really freaking hard at first. I don't know. Did you think it was hard at first? Um, I you. <laughs> okay, well, just me then. But I like to put, put it like here before I turn it on. I turn it on. And I let it wrap around. And kind of just... See, I kind of suck. But the only reason that wasn't too hard is because you sh like showed me how to do it before. I gotta redo this one already. <laughs> they always fall out. I think my hair is so long that it falls out at the ends. Okay. Like the ends always fall out. That's pretty much all I do. That's how long I hold it for. Honestly, not that long. And this is the curl that it gives, so. Pretty cute. It's really easy, honestly. At first I was like, oh my god, it's falling out. How do you get it to wrap around? But you get the hang of it. So I'm just gonna keep going. I'm kind of rushing. You kind of just have to like guide the hair onto the barrel. I think it just helps to hold the hair like right here and kind of guide it. Okay, so this is the first side, super voluminous, obviously. And I also forgot to say, when you do it, I turn it off and then take it out of the thing. I don't know if that makes a difference, but. So once I'm done one side, I kind of just like comb it out with a really big comb, really lightly, super lightly, because the curls are already like super loose. Kind of like tease it up to for more volume. And I spray it with like a hair texture, hairspray type of thing.
and then I do the other side. Ooh, I almost forgot to change the direction. So now I'm gonna put the other one on. Also, if you guys want me to use the other ones in a video, like the other attachments, let me know. Or if I should try one of them that you guys love. Cause I honestly just stick to these. I also have little baby hairs, so I use this living proof molding clay and a toothbrush and I t uh, like I take a tiny little bit, like so small. Just kind of brush them down like that. Good enough. Okay, let's fucking go. <laughs> Going to get our nails done. <laughs> yeah. We're late. Grace period. Grace period. We love a good grace period. We're gonna need that for dinner too. Yeah, we're gonna like for everything. The hair is looking good. Oh, they they have a puppy. We're done. We got kind of matching, and they're literally all the flavors of the ice cream: chocolate vanilla and strawberry. strawberry. Neapolitan. <laughs> We're obsessed with your videos. Oh like, my god! Thank you. I just met Wait. Caroline. Hi. <laughs> We're at True Food. Yes. We're getting dinner. <laughs> yes. Got our nails done. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> She's so cute. Wait, look, look at it. it. Her pants Where'd you guys match our nails. Oh, these are from Princess Polly. Oh Dang my god. <laughs> we, we got Neapolitan ice I love cream those. Nails. Oh my god, I love your nails. I love your outfit. Thank but you. Nice to meet you. She's you so too. <laughs> Guys, this was such a fail. We're paying, and I was like, wow. I look to my to my left, and I see my camera, and I'm like, shit. Did I, you know that that was your right or left? Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't film the food, but it was really good. I got an Instagram boomerang, though, of the appetizers. <laughs> Just the appetizers. But we got, oh my god, the dumplings here are so good. We got the hummus. We shared the burger. It was pretty good. Mm -hmm. It was pretty good for a vegan burger, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. I'll do better next time. So, yeah. What's up guys? It's the next day. Hi, I just rolled out of bed, but I wanted to end the vlog here and also say that if you guys are not following me on Instagram, you definitely should because I actually went through my closet and I'm going to sell all of these bags. And I thought the easiest way to do that would be to go on Instagram stories and just kind of list them and like the price that I'm thinking and show videos of them all so you guys can see like the quality of everything. I just think it would be a lot easier. Like I wasn't even gonna do that at first. I was I was gonna do the real real or whatever but honestly they don't really give you a lot of money for your shit <laughs> for your shit I do and since I have this audience I feel like it would be the perfect way I was thinking Poshmark too but honestly Instagram stories seems like the easiest and the quickest so I'm just gonna do little videos on there and I'm gonna hopefully this video goes up for that because that would be pointless but I'm thinking to list them all on Friday so Hopefully this video can go up before that. If you don't follow me on Instagram and you are interested in any of these bags, we got Celine, we got Saint Laurent, we got Gucci, lots of Gucci. We got Chloe and a few little wallets and like a belt. So if you are interested in anything, then follow me on Instagram and check out my stories on Friday for that. But for now, that's it for today's vlog. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.